Okay, friends, subscribers, and all you YouTubers out there, and uh, to the main person, YouTube, YouTube Australia, YouTube America, to the head of the copyright department, especially to the head of the copyright department. This is a video letter to you. I am now currently informing you as of the 11th of April, close of business, Eastern Standard Time. As you have failed to get all my emails and even make a response to them to me, I am making this video letter to you and I'm making it publicly available to all the public so that people can see what happens if you have multiple channels and you make a complaint about someone stealing your own work. Well, here's, here's the problem, right? I upload my videos to my main channel to everybody. Yeah, this is my main channel. Anybody that knows me, right, I get basically pretty good hits on my work. Uh, some of these have only been there for a couple of days. Some of these have been there for a week. But, yeah, and I start to get reasonable hits, even my thing. But, trust me, I can get really good hits. My videos attract a lot of advertising dollar, right? So, this is why... <coughs> sorry, pardon me. This is why I'm getting up there, but that one there is not monetized because it's got... Um, some music in the damn thing, which pisses me off, but yeah, I can't get it monetized because I've put some music in there from a clip that I found, and yeah, that sort of, so yeah, I can't monetize that video, but the thing is, I can monetize all these, I make all these videos myself, folks, yeah, this one, this one here, I've even filmed, okay, I've even filmed those three videos with my own damn camera outside my back door. And yet, when I go and upload them to this, not a problem. Uh, some of these I've had a little bit of a problem, but it gets sorted out pretty much quickly. But I go to this channel. This is my one of my backup channels, right? But this channel, I generally put everything out under, I think this one is news and blogs or people, uh, people and blogs or the news. One of them I put out under science and technology. One of them I put out under, um, yeah, the news and blo uh, blogs. So, okay, what happened is from one of someone copied a video. This I think it was this video from this channel. This video got copied from my original Bluebeard channel, and I complained about it. I notified them of the side of the copyright breaches and everything like that, and had the videos of the other channel. It turned out they were AdSense farms where they go and they steal everybody's work and. You should always search your videos for at least a week, the name of your videos for at least a week. And um, because generally these AdSense farms, they steal multiple videos, folks. And that's it, they really do. They steal a lot of people's work. So I monitor my videos very carefully. So I made a complaint. Guess what happened after I made a complaint? All of a sudden, right, this is what happens to people when they steal videos. Monitoring for possible review, monitoring for possible review, monitoring for possible review. Yet this one got through. How did this one get through? Oh, okay. Uh, name of the account, Anthony Avery. Um, so, yeah, because my name was there, right? It got through. Yet my name's on this one. Yet this one didn't get through. What happened was I downloaded, uploaded this one first to this channel. And I had a problem on the Bluebeard channel. And they fixed the Bluebeard problem. But they still haven't fixed these problems here, right? Now, it's quite clear and quite evident that these videos alone are my own bloody work, YouTube, right? They are my... You go and have a listen to the voice in them, YouTube. The voice is this same bloody voice, right? Now, I'm going to... Now, this, this is the only problem I should... Pardon me. Is the only problem I should have to go through. Is I should click that, then click that, then click that. This contains my own comment. Uh, this is a backup channel, and that's all I should have to put. I shouldn't even really have to go through this shit, right? So I'm not going to do that now, right, because I don't have time. So basically, I shouldn't have to go through this crap. That minimum is all I should have to go through. But this, 
This is a friggin' insult and suable too. Now, but as I said, YouTube, if you fail to fix these videos, you are going to be sued for every hit times the amount of ads in there at the highest quality advertising that can go on there because under the law, I'm entitled to sue you for that. And so far, it's going to work out a, a fair few dollars for you, YouTube, and I think you know that. And the thing is, if you fail to do it, now, I also have this channel, Bluebeard Related, this one, as you can see, no public videos, you have this one here, and they even have their own subscribers, YouTube, right? But they're my own friggin' work, right? Here, we have the same friggin' problem. Since I complained of these things, I am being treated like the criminal. I am the one that made the complaint about stolen videos, YouTube. I had the full legal right to upload to all my own channels. Here is the proof that these are my channels because only I can go into these friggin' pages, YouTube. So open them up yourself, right? Bluebeard, reloaded, reloaded. Get a load of the pictures up here and take big note when you go through and fix these because you have till Friday the 11th of April, Eastern Standard Time Australian at 5.30 p.m. is the latest. If they are failed to be fixed on Monday morning, I am approaching the courthouse. And I am submitting a statement of claim against YouTube for the lost advertised revenue. And I'm going to submit a civil case in the courts as well for stress. And I'm going to sue you for the maximum amount that I can sue you. I have written to you, YouTube. I've tried to even bloody telephone you, but all I get is an answering service. All right, so you won't take our calls. You won't listen to emails. And I've even, and subscribers and everybody out there watching this video, I've actually sent many bloody emails. I've addressed them to the head of the copyright department. I detailed those emails as to the individual videos that are currently having problems. So they can't say that they haven't been notified because guess what, YouTube? Those emails are going to be used as evidence. And I've even re-forwarded the same emails to make sure I've sent them to different staff members. I think there's over, they've received the same emails about 10 times. So guess what, YouTube? You're getting a video email. Here's the video email. This is going to be used as evidence in court to prove that I have tried to rectify the problem. And yet you continually fail to do what I have asked and fix my videos and monetize them. Because yes, folks, they're not monetized. So we're going to click on one. We're going to get, where are we? This is my own work. I screen captured these things and uh, basically, yeah, notice no advertising. No advertising. These should be, have ads. Right, we go to one of my other videos. Where are we? Bluebeard. Right, Bluebeard, Bluebeard. Same video by me under Bluebeard. Advertising. That's what should be there, folks. Advertising. Yeah, I'll go back to that one. No advertising. Let's have a look at this one. Okay, it's going to bring up the Bluebeard version of it. Advertising. And you see this one clicks up a few hits for ads because it goes for a while. Yes, I allow advertising, folks, because these are my own works. I have the right to get advertising on them and to collect revenue on them because it does cost money to make these videos because I spend a lot of time researching these videos and all those people that um, invention failed. Yeah, so as you can see, folks, anybody, if you want to um, say YouTube that it's not my video, have a listen to this voice. Have a listen to the voice in that bloody video. You can't hear it at the moment because I've got the sound turned down so I can make this video. So, YouTube, you're going to fix them. 
see them, they are the same person. They are my videos. Fix the bloody things, right? Again, we click on this one. Ah, oh, fuck, no advertising. What is going on? Right, they even put all rights reserved Anthony James Avery. They've only got to look into my name because it'll tell them that I own this channel. They don't even have the sensibility to go and check the name of the ownership of these channels. All right? If it's got that on there, all they have to do is simply go and check the, the channel owner. They'll see it's me. Yet, what happens? No, I'm being treated like a criminal. All right? I go in here, I've got the ability to go into these things and look at it and uh, go into video manager and bang, we get them up again. And yet what do I find? I find these problems. I Now, I monetize a video the moment I upload it. The moment it is uploaded. Now, this has to have a video uploaded to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on there. and I, I can upload videos to this channel. Let's have a look over here. We go to, this is just, and you can watch this folks. You don't have to watch this. You can can't turn this video off anytime you want. We'll click it there. Right. Oh my God. I've got the video. He upload YouTube. How that? That's very weird. Now let's go to my main channel. Oh bang. YouTube. I got the ability to upload. Okay, now you can see they're my own bloody videos. Review this video, go to review the copyright data at the bottom in the description. It'll tell you the channels that you have to go in and fix. As I said, you've got seven days. You have to the 11th of April 2014, uh, Australian Eastern Standard Time, 5.30 p.m. If you fail to fix these, 9 a.m., Monday, Eastern Standard Time. I'm going straight to the courthouse and filing documents against you for lost revenue and stress. Fix the friggin' problem, YouTube, and I'm not kidding. And I'm going to put a message out there to every single YouTube viewer. If they fail to answer an email, make a video and make it public about the shit. Because normally it should just be a simple phone call to them saying, hey, look, I've got three channels. Um, you're not monetizing. Can you just go and fix them and everything? And you just have to listen to my voice on the phone. You'll see these videos belong to me. And can you just go in and fix them, please? That's all it should take. A simple phone call. No, but what they do, they cut off the access. They think, oh, yeah, well, if we don't do it, well, guess what? That problem of not letting us ring you has just brought you in a very embarrassing problem. We can make videos and upload them and make people see them about the shit that we're going through. And if you don't allow the videos, YouTube, I'm just going to upload it and upload it. I'm going to secretly bloody somehow get it out there. I'll put a bloody something up there to get it out there. Don't worry. I'll upload it to other channels. Right? Because I do upload to other video channels, YouTube. So you fail to do it on this one. I'll make public on every friggin' upload facility that I use. You've got to one week to fix this problem. Now fix the friggin' thing, YouTube. I'm sick and tired of this shit. And guess what? Do something smart. <coughs> Get a phone number that we can actually contact you properly, person to person. Then you won't have this problem.